EU leaders meeting in Brussels have agreed to set up a, quote, permanent mechanism to save Eurozone economies sinking in debt. They promise to do whatever is required to safeguard the common currency. And it may be needed soon, with rating agencies suggesting that several nations are close to being insolvent. RT's Tessa Arcilio explains. Basically, they want to make changes to existing treaties to create a permanent fund to replace the 440 billion euro package that they had scrambled to put together to rescue Greece. Germany is making a very strong push to ensure that there are provisions that the bailout fund is only used as a last resort. They also want to make sure that the conditions attached to this bailout fund is ironclad. If we recall the political wrangling that happened before the final push for the Lisbon Treaty changes, we saw that there's been a lot of conflict before they came to a resolution, so we hope to see uh, something come out of this summit. Now, this uh, summit is happening um, on the backdrop of a lot of discontent across Europe. We've just seen protests in Greece get violent uh, against the austerity measures. We've seen a couple of months ago uh, the French coming out into the streets protesting the uh, rise in the retirement age uh, by two years. We've also seen protests in London of students because the government has been passing uh, plans to pass the uh, tuition fees on to students. Now, across Europe, there's this feeling of discontent, but also a sense of unfairness. There's a feeling that the middle and lower classes are shouldering the burden of the financial crisis, which has been dragging on for a couple of years now, while the uh, small percentage that owns much of the wealth here in Europe um, are not feeling the pain of the austerity measures. So there's that sense of inequality that people are voicing their anger against. Now, as these events continue to unfold, there have been more and more calls for, for countries in trouble to just default on their debts, abandon the euro, and basically go back to their own currencies. At this moment, I see that we are uh, facing the biggest threats to the European project in a generation. People in all these countries, not only Spain, but also Portugal, Ireland and Greece, begin to realize that these austerity measures are harsh and, uh, and that this, the situation is not improving nonetheless. The exercise is unsustainable. And as a, a very good uh, economist said in the Financial Times uh, a few weeks ago, what is unsustainable will not be sustained. Now, another issue that has surfaced and has been causing some public anger is the fact that while uh, jobs are being cut, while wages of public servants, civil servants are being cut, the wages of the uh, members of the European Parliament are set to increase in 2011 to a net of about 170,000 euros. And also, they're going to see their salaries rise by about 2%. So this is a very controversial and sensitive news for the public uh, here in Europe who are already feeling a lot of pain. Uh, because of the financial policies put forth by their governments.